Okay, uh, today I'm going to talk about witness embedding and immersion figures. Um, well, these are like fundamental uh, theories in, in topology or differential topology, anyways, but we already used them. Patrick in his talk mentioned um, he had a result like this um, that below the middle dimension we can always kill element in a homotopy group by surgery if the a normal bundle can be framed. Yeah, so he already assumed that we can represent an element in a homotopy group uh, below the middle dimension by an embedded sphere, actually. And, um, yeah, so, uh, and in the middle dimension, we will need the corresponding result for emergence. Um, I'm also going to talk about algebraic and, and geometric intersections and intersection numbers and, uh, and the width matrix. And this is quite a, also quite a fundamental result for, for what is to follow. Okay. Um, so let me state the uh, theorems first with this. Um, 
results presented in, in various books on, on differential algebraic topology um, are a bit easier. So let me sketch present an idea of proof. So easy case. Easy case meaning let M be compact and M be the Euclidean space. I mean we we already we, we know that, that every Manifold is actually a sub-manifold of the Euclidean space because of the um, Okay, so what can we do? Um, since n can be covered by, by a finite number of charts, finitely many, finitely many charts, with corresponding bump functions mu i corresponding bump function well I can just construct construct a map directly and I'm getting some components phi by going from the manifold n to r m plus 1 many charts so let it be k charts k time so what do I do I start with the point x and I map it to so bump function on x cross phi of x and this is the rm part check that this map is actually better. So this is a, an injective uh, injective continuous uh, no, bijective continuous with a compact source. So this is um, okay. So, but I mean, this is certainly not enough yet. This might be quite big. So the next step is usually Next step: uh, project project the embedded manifold down to a lower dimensional Euclidean space by finding a vector um, along which you're going to project, uh, which is so ensures both co both conditions. First of all, that the projection projection is injective mm -hmm. and um, it's injective on the tangent, tangent bump. Uh, project down to R to N plus one step by step or R N depending on or R two N depending on which theorem we are going to prove here. And yeah, this is usually so to find such a vector you need some uh, uh, you need a sub sub theorem. Density uh, arguments. Okay, um, this is say one idea of the easy case. Another idea presented in Andrew's book is the local proof. So, okay, local means you choose one chart. Um,
those matrices have a, uh, having uh, with, with rank i precisely rank i uh, rank i matrices. Okay. So. Dimension, dimension, uh, the dimension of R i is um, the dimension is increasing, or the dimension of R i is, uh, is less equal to the dimension of the next one. Well, dimension of R n minus one. You compute the dimensions, and now it's a transversality argument. So you know f df uh, can be made transverse to all r naught up to r n minus one. So once it is made transverse, we compute the image or uh, the pre-image of um, the pre-image of the r i's under this new approximate. Yeah. So, okay, make um, make the F um, approximate the F by by a transverse map transverse by sorry by map F uh, which is transverse to to um, R I where i is less equal than n minus 1. Okay, what is the dimension of the pre image now? Uh, r i. Well, the co dimension. No, so, so this is the, the co dimension is fixed, so it's just um, n minus the co dimension, and the co dimension is the same as the co dimension here. Okay, so this, uh, the dimensions are increasing, so this is less equal. Uh, oh. Yeah, this is less equal than dimension of uh, of r n minus one, and this is n minus one n plus one. So. Because um, 